Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today, we are looking at one of the most controversial and infamous executions in the history of Saudi Arabia, which created anger around the world. The execution of Princess Michal bint Fahad al Sayyid. Princess Michal bint Fahad al Sayyid was born in 1958. She was the daughter of Fad bin Muhammad bin Abdulaziz Sayyid and the great niece of the Prince Muhammad bin Abdulaziz, pictured to the left, who was briefly Crown Prince from 1964 until 1965 and was amongst the most wealthy and powerful members of the Saudi royal family. Abdulaziz was the older brother of Khalid bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid who was the king and prime minister of Saudi Arabia between the 25th of March 1975 and the 13th of June 1982, who was also Al Sayyid's grandfather. Her great-grandfather was King Abdulaziz ibn Abdul Rahman ibn Faisal ibn Turki ibn Abdullah ibn Muhammad Sayyid, who was the founder of Saudi Arabia and the first monarch between the 23rd of September 1932 and the 9th of November 1953 of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. At her request and with the permission of her family, she travelled to Lebanon to attend school a far more liberal country compared to the conservative Saudi Arabia. While studying in Lebanon, the young Al Sayyid fell in love with Khalid Al Shahir Muhalal, pictured to the right, the nephew of Ali Hassan Al Shahir, who was the Saudi Arabian ambassador in Lebanon. The two began a sexual affair which is legal under Lebanese law, but adultery is, until this day, strictly illegal in Saudi Arabia. She hoped to go to university in Lebanon, but this was refused by her family. Upon the return of the pair to Saudi Arabia, they both met illicitly in Saudi Arabia and began having sex, with charges of adultery brought against the pair. Both attempted to escape Saudi Arabia with Al Sayyid disguised as a man. However, the pair were recognized by a passport examiner at Jeddah Airport, the second biggest city of Saudi Arabia, and the second busiest airport in Saudi Arabia. Al Sayyid was returned to her family in Jeddah. Under Sharia law in Saudi Arabia, a person can only be convicted of adultery by the testimony of four adult male witnesses to the act of sex or by the individual's own confession of guilt by repeating three times in court, I have committed adultery. Al Sayyid's family implored her not to confess, knowing that her guilt would equate to her death, but also to promise never to see Khalid Al Shahir Mulhalal ever again. However, on return to the courtroom, she proudly confessed, I have committed adultery, I have committed adultery, I have committed adultery. The three times that the court needed to sentence her to death. On the 15th of July 1977, both lovers were scheduled to be executed in public by beheading. While most executions take place in Dira Square in Riyadh by beheading, their execution was to take place by the side of the Queen's building in Jeddah. The execution was ordered by Khalid bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid, who is pictured with his granddaughter. He believed that his granddaughter's actions had brought shame upon the family due to her infidelity. Al Sayyid was blindfolded, made to kneel, and executed by beheading with thousands watching, including her boyfriend Khalid, who was made to watch. She was just 19 years old. Khalid was beheaded by one of Al Sayyid's male relatives with a sword. However, it took five blows to cut his head off. A British citizen living in Jeddah, Barry Milner, who witnessed the execution, sold the pictures to the newspaper The Daily Express upon his return to the United Kingdom in September 1977, and it was only then that the world became aware of the senseless executions, with the pictures of Al Sayyid's execution featured on page 3 of the newspaper in January 1978. 
The 1980 documentary Death of a Princess was broadcast on the 9th of April 1980 in the United Kingdom on ITV and on the 12th of May 1980 in the United States of America on PBS and received critical acclaim. It is on YouTube if you want to check it out. However, there was much criticism from the Saudi government who insisted that the executions for adultery had been performed in accordance with Sharia law. As a result of the airing of Death of a Princess, the British ambassador James Craig was asked to leave Riyadh and Saudi Arabia's ambassador to the United Kingdom was recalled. Mobile and Secretary of State Edmund Muskie pressured PBS not to air the documentary. Following the airing, trade was disrupted between Saudi Arabia, Britain, the United States of America, as well as the Netherlands where the show was also broadcast. The location of Al Sayyid's and Khalid's body is unknown. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.